Picture this, one year ago, Qatar, a small but ambitious nation, hosted the most significant event in football, the World Cup of 2022. Controversy surrounded this decision, including allegations of corruption and human rights violations. But what has changed since then? Doha, Qatar. It is one year since the most controversial World Cup in history, began with a sales pitch from FIFA president Gianni Infantino. After years of criticism over the decision to award the biggest sporting event of all to Qatar, taken prior to his appointment, Infantino launched a scathing attack on what he described as the hypocrisy and racism from countries he considered to be moralizing over the Middle East nation's human rights record, telling us all that, today I feel Qatari, Arab, African, gay, disabled, a migrant worker. He went on to castigate the West for double standards in focusing on Qatar's worker abuses, who is actually caring about the workers? FIFA does, football does, the World Cup does, and to be fair to them, Qatar does as well. The football would soon drown out the talking. On the pitch, Lionel Messi led Argentina to glory in a final that ranks among the greatest games of all time. There were more goals scored, 172, than at any previous World Cup. According to FIFA, 3.4 million people attended the games, and the four-year cycle to 2022 was the most lucrative ever generating $7.5 billion. Infantino would go on to describe the tournament as the best ever because of the unique cohesive power that this World Cup has shown. No official figure has ever been stated, but reports estimate Qatar spent $220 billion on staging the World Cup. 